Good day, my name is Jonas. I'm an overseas Filipino worker. I'm a nurse. I'm an advocate of Just Life Project and welcome to Jonas Do Podcast for our series, Book of the Day. And the book featured for our podcast today is still Jack Canfield's The Success Principles, How to Get from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. Last week, I was able to present the chapter one entitled The Fundamentals of Success. And today, I'll present to you the second chapter and it's called Transform Yourself for Success. And to start with, I want to share with you a beautiful quote by William James. He is a Harvard psychologist and he says, he said, The greatest revolution of our generation is the discovery that human beings, by changing the inner attitudes of their minds, can change the outer aspect of their lives. It's very important to have a beautiful mindset. It's very important to mind our own outlook in life. If if uh, we if we think that we are not capable of achieving something then definitely we will stay in the same level as uh, as mediocrity in the same level of poverty in the same level of unhealthy relationship problematic relationships so for this we need to start within ourselves we need to start with the with the, with the, within our minds within our thinking within our thought uh, if if we want to achieve something it is very important for us to focus on the things that we really want and it's very important to to change our our, our psyche to change our psychology to change our out- outlook in life if we will think that life is uh, life is not that uh, beautiful is if, if we think that life has a lot of problems if we think that we'll always encounter failures and disappointments and defeat and f- uh, and we will not achieve anything so the first thing that we should do is to put in our minds that we are destined to become winners we are destined to have a victorious life we are destined to have a, uh, an amazing life a prosperous life we are destined to win in the different areas of our lives for example we are destined to win over poverty we are destined for prosperity we are destined to create a wonderful relationships with our friends and with our families so for this by just the ch- changing the inner attitudes of our minds we can change the outer aspect of our lives so the first part uh, first concept for, for second chapter transform yourself for success it's called surround yourself with successful people Jim Rohn once said you are the average of the five person you hang out with it is very scary it's very dangerous it is you, you see sometimes you you became uh, different from from the people that you hang out you 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 start reading books you start uh, watching good uh, seminars motivational speeches or motivational talks then suddenly you will realize that you are becoming different from them and that's the time that also you are thinking that uh, the different influences around you can greatly affect the result of your of your work towards your success towards achi- achieving your dreams it is very important to drop out and you know it's time for us to stop um involving ourselves with the with the negative people with the toxic people and start looking for people who are crazy about dreams people who are working hard towards their dreams people who are positive people who see always the the good in every circumstances that they encounter and also it's very important to to see the people who are complainers the people who who are really negative Wh- whatever um endeavor that they want to do they they always try to see the possible negative consequences of their of their actions of their dreaming so right now jack canfield said surround yourself with successful people so for me since i i i, I work as a full-time nurse and there's no and we are only few filipinos here so I, I still surround myself with with these people as my as my friends. However, I often choose to to read many books. Okay, I I still have opportunities to surround myself with, uh, for example, uh, with Steve Jobs by reading the life of Steve Jobs, by reading the book of the life of Nelson Mandela, by reading the lives of Thomas Alva Edison and all the works of these successful people. So if you don't have any time, if you are busy with your life, then you can just read good books, you can download uh, uh, motivational speeches, and you can surround yourself every day. You can listen to those wonderful motivational speeches that was uh, actually. 
being uh, provided free from the internet so for me i suggest that uh, you read the works or you listen to the videos and seminars of jim ron he's really incredible guy he's wonderful like i learned so many things from him and also to listen to some of the works of les brown les brown is an um, he is an amazing speaker as well and of course robin sharma is also very good and most of my books i actually love the books of uh, uh, Rhonda Byrne, the, the secret uh, books and also some of the new books from Zig Ziglar, from Jack Canfield, uh, of course, a Filipino author from Brother Bo Sanchez. Anyway, the next part is, it says, acknowledge your positive past. Most of the time, we, when we when we are asked uh, how about our past, what are our experiences from the past, we often think of the negative things that happened to us. So for here, Jack Canfield suggested to divide our life into three time periods and then... Um, write down the three major successes that we achieve for for example i'm 27 years old so i can divide it by three in the first 10 year of my life and then from 11 to 20 year old and from 21 to uh, 27 year old i can divide that on for example when i was uh, my first grade until uh, when i from 1 to 10 i was able to to excel in my school i was able to to learn many things i was able to achieve a uh, different uh, to won some competitions when i was young and also when i started my from 11 year old to 20 to 20 year old i was able to finish a degree in nursing by um, becoming a scholar of the college of nursing and also being an outstanding student and uh, for this i was able to support myself that's already a very big success for me and the last part in, from my 21st to 27 year old i was able to work as a clinical instructor instructor i was able to finish two master's degree a master in public health and master in nursing administration and right now i was enjoying a great i was i'm really having a great time here in the sultanate of oman serving uh, the people of oman as uh, my patient so that's just an example for you you can divide three parts of your life whenever you are in doubt whenever you are you have fear whenever you are um, sad it's very important for you sometimes i just close my eyes and just think of these wonderful thoughts especially my major successes and after that i will develop a very nice feeling and the next one is it's called keep your eye on the price so for a day I made sure that uh, before I start my day, I did some uh, meditation and reflection. I actually read my dream, my life's dream. So for this, so that I know what is really my ultimate purpose. So every day, every day when I wake up in the morning, I'll open my Bible and then read my life's dream. It's actually around 20 or 20 plus or 30 pages of life's dream, including the, the, the dreams, my ultimate dreams, a dream for my family, for my finances, for my uh, any endeavor that I want to achieve. So I've written there and I focus on it every day to keep my eyes on the price and it keeps me actually motivated and the last one is um to to just um forget forget the the, the past okay so it's very important for us because we can never ever ever change our past but we can do something for our future what uh, has been done it's already finished and whatever whatever things even if we cry even if um you know we stay in one corner of the room and just sit there we will never change the past so what is important is to look forward for our future what are the dreams that we want to achieve what are the things that keeps us that keep us excited what are our endeavors what are our goals in life so just focus in there after like uh, what I shared before in the first chapter, after realizing what you really want in life, it is very important to take action, to work on it, and uh, of course, to believe in the dreams that you put in our hearts. So thank you so much for watching. I do believe that um, you are destined for greatness and your dreams are made to come true. So take care, everyone, and God bless.